Wikipedia is a free online encyclopedia, created and edited by volunteers around the world. Can we fetch this data in Power BI? And if we can fetch also, how can we refresh the dataset once published to service? All the answers are in this video, stay tuned till the end to understand the web data source refresh issue as well. Welcome to Data Mualim. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for more interesting videos. In this video, we will see mainly three things. Web scraping the data from Wikipedia. I am taking an example of Windows versions and their release dates. Power query, transformations, on how we can clean up data wherever required. Web data source refresh is very necessary because once you get the data you need to refresh to be updated, so stay tuned until the end to see the common issues and fixes. So let us get started. Click on get data and select web data source. Next copy the Wikipedia page URL from the browser. And click OK. We will be able to see a list of tables available from the page like the server version, Windows Home server version and all the tables available on that particular page. Select all the required tables. We can also see the web view beside the table view. The whole page is visible here. Now click on Transform Data, as we need to mark the headers as well as some transformations that need to be done before loading it. So here we can see all the tables are loaded, now click on the Used First Row as Header, Transformation to mark the column names. And we need to do this wherever it's required. Also, rename the table as well. Now let us see the M query used behind the tables extracted. We can see a lengthy HTML code transformed into a table and a few other types and header changes as well. We will come back to this later, let us close for now. We can notice here, that the release date is marked as text, but it should be a date type. This is because there is a text value in a date, so we need to remove this. Click on Transform from the menu options at the top, and then select a split transformation and select by delimiter. Here we can see a lot of options available, we need to select leftmost delimiter and specify the delimiter as a square bracket. Once done, click OK. So here we can see a new column is created by the delimiter. We can delete this column. And automatically the other column has an assigned date as type. Now we can close and apply to exit from the power query. Once done, we can see the data is getting loaded. And there we go, the tables are imported successfully. Let me create a simple report on top of this dataset. OK, the report is ready, let us publish this to the service. Click on Publish and select your workspace. And done. Now go to your published dataset and manually refresh it. Once done, click on the settings to check the refresh history. And here we can see an error message displayed, please make sure your data gateway is installed. Why do we need a gateway here? For web source, it is asking for a gateway. Is Power BI mad? No, it's not, we need to fix one issue back in the report itself. But before that, let us configure the credential settings. 
click on edit credentials and select anonymous and skip test connection and then sign in. Also scheduled refresh is also turned off. So let us fix the issue. Go back to the Power BI desktop and then select the transform data again. Click on the advanced editor and then change the M query used in the source from web.browser content to web.content. As it's a disabled module, these functions require an on-premises data gateway connection to work. With this fix, the refresh will happen without any issues. Now do this change in all the tables. Once done, close and apply the changes. Publish the report once the data loading is complete. Let us go back and refresh the dataset manually again. Click on the settings to check the refresh history. And there we go. The refresh is successful. In this way, we can get data from Wikipedia through web data sources and schedule the refresh to stay up to date. Stay tuned and subscribe for more exciting videos. Also, comment below on which topic you would like to see my next video. Hope you like this video, if you have, please click on the like button. Thanks for watching.